Experiment project, gravity assist pulse motor two, two stage oscillator configuration update. Uh, we've been uh, doing some simple manual tests with uh, different weights and uh, at different positions on the uh, small pendulum. And uh, basically, what I found was is the heavier weight on the bottom uh, slowed the entire swing of the uh, of the pendulum, and it was <laughs> sort of like watching it go in slow motion. Uh, I think because this was acting as a counterbalance, and the only thing that was moving fast was the upper pendulum. And uh, so we've uh, dropped the weight down to uh, five pounds at the uh, uppermost limit uh, of the uh, of the small, or, or yeah, the small upper pendulum. And uh, that seemed to uh, return the uh, the speed. There's still like an extended uh, dwell or hang time at the end of each swing. Um, but, uh, I think that's the best way to proceed at this point. And then, uh, maybe we will, uh, you know, stick some extra weight on the bottom. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, the, the uh, the delay trigger for the electromagnet should be here tomorrow. And, uh, We'll uh, proceed with uh, fabrication and testing. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the uh, because the weight is so small, I stuck a uh, two by two neodymium magnet on the upper pendulum, and uh, we used uh, 16 gauge wire on the electromagnet, and uh, it's about a two ohms, so a 12 volt system. You know, approximately a six amp pulse. So that'll decrease the uh, uh, you know, the current at the input, and uh, we'll, we'll find out, uh, you know, how it performs, uh, if it even uh, will keep the uh, the pendulum, you know, the main main mass moving back and forth. Anyways, uh, so this is just to uh, document my results uh, for personal use. Uh, if anybody else, uh, you know, can use the information, hey, great. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers. Mm-hmm.